Today on Yellow Jacket Garage, I'm going to replace the water pump and the engine mount all by myself. Now why is the all by myself important? Let me show you. Okay, so the whole why is it a big deal doing it by myself and uh, if you've ever done one of these, you know that if you only have two hands, it is a pretty difficult task to get done. The reason being is that your engine mount, this piece here, bolts, or it goes on to the front of the engine. There is no bolts, there's no way to hold it on while you add the water pump to it. The water pump sandwiches in, this sits in here like so, and then you have to finagle the bolts in there. All the while, you've got gaskets to worry about too. And, uh, with just two hands, well, that's a recipe for uh, new words to be formed. Trust me. And so uh, I came up with an idea. I think is, I think it's going to work. And so we're fixing to find out, and you're going to learn along with me. So here we go. Okay. So what did I do? I started with a piece of all thread, and I. Actually, where did I put them? Got a couple of nuts anyway. I threaded the nuts on, chucked it up in the vise, gave it about three inches or so, cut that off, took it over to the grinder, rounded off the ends of the uh, all thread because you got some jagged edges. I left the uh, nuts on there at first, uh, went ahead and ground them down so they were nice and smooth, took the nuts off so it chases the threads back out, and then it basically gave me a three inch dowel piece. And uh, I'll show you what I did with those here in just a second. Okay, so I took the dowel pieces, these ones are painted Chevy orange just for your viewing pleasure, and I screwed those into just a little bit into where the water pump housing, or that water pump mounts. Now, the uh, engine mount slides over, I put the gaskets on that, and then the water pump slides onto that, and then I've got new water pump mounting bolts. I'm going to put those in on the bottom holes, tighten those up, and then pull these dowel pins out and put the new bolts in the top side of it. So let's see how that works out. Okay, hopefully you can see this as this goes on. Basically, that dial pin, on there it goes. The water pump, it slides right on there. I've already put the gaskets on there. They got some little sealant on there and whatnot. So now I've got those in. I'm gonna take a little bit of RTV And uh, a little RTV on the threads. Just want to make sure that it seals up because it goes into the water jacket, so you want it to seal up. And so, find that hole. pins with the other bolt started so now I'm going to put this dowel pin in again just a smidge of RTV all right now I'm going to go ahead and go around the other side do this part of it and I'll show you when it's uh, finished up. Okay, so uh, I went ahead, there's the new engine mount, new water pump, put all four bolts in. This is that specialty bolt for the, the alternator bracket. Uh, the engine is still not sitting all the way down on the mount yet, I'll do that in a minute, but uh, just wanted to close this part of it out. I did torque the uh, bolts down to the required spec, and so I think that's about that. All right, new engine mount is in, new water pump is in, nice chrome jobby. It's got a few other things to button up before um, it's all the way sitting back down. I uh, had to make a few modifications to some of the new engine mounts because the old hardware was missing some pieces and parts that didn't come with the new engine mounts that I installed while I was doing this whole project. But that's neither here nor there. It's uh, classic car issues. Happens all the time. Just a matter of being ready to zig or zag as the need arises. Anyway, hey, thanks for being here at Yellow Jacket Garage. I appreciate it. And if you would not mind doing so, please hit that subscribe button down below. Like, share, all that good stuff if you 
feel inclined. And uh, as always, we'll see you on down the road.